Welcome tonight, everybody. I'm happy to see you here. Tonight's class is all about back bends. We're really going to work on back. Our, our final approach will be lots of different kinds of back bends. So to prepare for that throughout the class, we're going to work on strengthening our core muscles so that they're all ready and engaged to support our spine and work on lengthening the quads so that we can get that shape from the knees all the way through our shoulders and not put all the bend right in our lumbar spine where it tends to, all that bend tends to dump into our lumbar spine. And we'll work on opening up the shoulders. So opening up the shoulders, lengthening through the quads, using the core to stabilize the spine and working into some back bends at the very, very end. So we're gonna start kneeling. If you have a block and you wanna kneel up on a block, always a good option. Otherwise, you can just come to kneeling. And if that doesn't work for you, sitting just in a comfortable seated position is fine also. So come to kneeling. We'll start by just getting ourselves settled. Close your eyes down and uh, start to settle in here. Start to arrive on your mat. Let whatever happened throughout the day today fall behind you. Give yourself the opportunity to be here in this space for the next little while. Start to deepen your breath and slow it down. Feeling each breath fill every corner of your lungs. Feel your chest rise and fall. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Use this last few moments here to set an intention for your practice. Let yourself decide tonight what the goal of your practice is. Is it to push yourself? Is it to give yourself some grace and some ease? Is it to simply separate yourself from the day or your circumstance? You decide what it is that your intention is today so that you can bring yourself back to that intention when your mind starts to wander or your body starts to struggle. One more breath in and one more breath out. Inhale your arms up and overhead. Let your palms touch at the very top and let your hands drop behind your neck so that the thumbs meet the nape of your neck and send your gaze up just a little bit. So maybe the back of your head is pressing into your forearms, starting to lengthen through your armpits, but keep your core engaged, those lower, abdominal muscles, your floating ribs, don't let them flare out. Keeping everything engaged is starting to open up the shoulders. Breath in and breath out. Inhale, send your fingertips back up to the ceiling and exhale, send your fingertips towards the front of the room, rounding your spine and tucking your chin. So you really found a, find a nice rounding in your back, spreading your shoulder blades apart, really as if you're gonna pull your arms out of your shoulder sockets. Inhale, flip your palms to the sides of the room, start to sit up, swim your arms back like a big breaststroke. Catch your fingers behind your back, extend your fist out, opening up your chest. Again, keeping those floating ribs tucked in, your core engaged. Breath in and breath out. Tuck your chin, round your back, release your hands, pull your fingers that reverse swim all the way forward. Palms touch towards the front of the room. Really tuck your chin, round your spine, let your neck really hang heavy. 
Inhale, arms all the way up, fingertips up. Let your thumbs fall to the nape of your neck. Press your head back into your forearms. Breath in and breath out. One more time, just like that. Inhale, fingertips come up. And exhale, point to the front of the room. Tuck your chin round your spine. Inhale, swim your arms back. Let your hands grasp, interlace your fingers. Open up your chest. Release that. Tuck your chin. Reverse swim your arms all the way around. Your fingers point to the front of the room. Tuck your chin around your spine. Inhale, fingers to the sky. And exhale, thumbs to the nape of your neck. Head pushes back into your forearms. Inhale your arms up to the ceiling. And plant your hands on your mat. Come to a tabletop position. And drop your forearms right to the ground. Keep your hips right over your knees. Check on that. Make sure your hips are looking good over your knees. And start to extend your arms out in front of you, coming into puppy pose. Now, in puppy pose, you can have your forehead on the mat. Or if you have enough opening across your chest, your chin on the mat. But keep your hips over your knees. And the longer you hang out here, the more opening you'll feel across your chest from armpit to armpit. Take a breath in, breathe out, let your chest melt just a tiny bit further. Breath in and breath out. Breath in, start to lift yourself up and out of that, coming back to your tabletop pose. Moving first into cow, belly drops, tailbone and crown of the head both reach up, chin reaches up, press through all four corners of your palms, cow. And exhale, round your spine curves in a big U shape up towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin, tuck your pelvis under like they're magnetized together. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. As you transition from cow to cat, you can feel your shoulder blades drop down and together. From cow to cat, they spread, they lift and spread apart. One more inhale to cow. And exhale to cat. Continue to move through these on your own breath. It's my favorite part of class. Shift around. Maybe feel out any sticky spots, any weird spots you might be experiencing. Hold there, send your breath there. Come to a neutral tabletop position. Sit back all the way onto your heels and tuck your forehead, tuck your chin as though your forehead's gonna come all the way to your knees. Clasp your hands behind your back, interlace those fingers just like we did at the beginning of class and lift your arms up and overhead just to see how far up and over they can come. We're gonna hold here for a few breaths. Breath in, breath out, release those hands, set them back down next to your ears. Send your knees wide, toes together, come into child's pose. As we get ready to get moving a little bit here, bring your intention back to the forefront of your mind.
Take a breath in here. And a breath out. Come all the way up to your hands and knees. One last time in tabletop position. Send your shoulders forward over your wrist just a little bit, still down on your knees, and lower your elbows all the way down alongside your body. Plant your forearms on the earth. We're moving into sphinx pose, so your shoulders are stacked right over your elbows. Your forearms are parallel, and your hands are planted firmly on the mat. Press your shoelaces into the mat so much so that your kneecaps activate and your thighs lift and your knees are probably up and off the ground. And hold here, drawing back on your upper arm bones, pulling back into your elbows so you won't see any movement, but you can feel it as though you're pulling the mat towards your pelvis. One more breath in and release, relax. Let your head drop, let your muscle, your legs relax. Pick your head back up. Press through your shoe bit laces, activate your quads, lift your knees, pull back on your arm bones, opening your chest, lift your chin, just gazing straight ahead. Breath in and breath out. Relax your legs, relax your shoulders, roll out your neck. And we'll do that one more time. Press into your shoelaces, quads engage, kneecaps lift, pull back on your arms. Hold here. We're going to hold it for an extra breath this time. In and out. In and out. Breath in and release it all. Draw your hands back down underneath your shoulders. Press back to tabletop. Tuck your toes. Come to downward facing dog. First downward dog of the night. Start to pedal it out a little bit. Maybe sink into one hip for a brief minute. Sink into the other. Check in with how things feel. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, roll forward to your high plank. Hold it here for a breath in. Breath out, downward facing dog. Stay here, one breath in. One breath out. Inhale, roll forward to your high plank. Stay here for a breath in. And a breath out, downward facing dog. We'll do that one last time. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, roll forward to your high plank. Pause for one breath in. Breath out, downward facing dog. Inhale, look up to your hands. Exhale, step or tiptoe, bent legs or straight. You decide all the way up to meet your hands. Clasp opposite elbows. Sway a little back and forth. Remember here when you sway, I like to shift the weight between one foot and another to really feel it up my hamstrings. Let your fingertips drop down to the earth. And as you inhale, roll up to standing one vertebrae at a time, slowly coming all the way up. Your head lands on top. Last, exhale, let your shoulder blades fall down your back. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, bow or swan dive all the way down to your forward plank. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Stay here for an exhale. And an inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up to standing. Let your arms float all the way up at the very end of your inhale. And exhale, they come back down to heart center. Inhale, float up. Exhale, bow or swan dive all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right back down, forward fold. Inhale, roll up. Arms float up, gaze goes up. And exhale, hands to heart. Adding on this time. Inhale, everything floats up. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hand, step your right foot back, step your left foot back, high plank, lower down halfway or all the way to your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Stay here for an exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just a little extra pause in that back bend today. Breath in and breath out. One more breath in and breath out. Inhale, look to the top of your mat and exhale, walk, step, float, jump all the way up to meet your hands to find your forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up. Arms come up. And exhale, hands heart to heart. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, plant your hands, step your left foot back, step your right foot back, lower down, belly or halfway chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra, stay for an exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in and breath out. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, tiptoe, hop or step to your hands. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, roll all the way up. Arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. I'm gonna add a couple things in this time. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hand, step your left foot back. Drop your left knee down to the mat. So you're in this low lunge, back knees down. Keep your back toe tucks. Inhale, your chest up to this low lunge. Maybe inhale, look your fingertips up towards the ceiling and start to trace your fingertips back along the ceiling, only so far as it feels good. Breath in, breath out. Plant your hands. Lift your back knee. Step back to your high plank. Lower down. Halfway or all the way. Inhale. Up dog or cobra. Exhale. Right back to downward facing dog. Inhale. Lift your right leg up. Three-legged dog. Exhale. Bring your knee to your nose. Step your right foot through. Keep your back knee lifted this time. Inhale. Lift all the way up to high crescent. Again, send your gaze up at the ceiling. Maybe you track those fingertips along the ceiling. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step your left foot forward to meet your right forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up. Arms float up, gaze goes up. Exhale, hands to heart. Other side, just like that. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Breathe out, plant your hands, step your right foot back this time. Drop your right knee down to the earth, keep your toes tucked. Inhale, arms up. Gaze up at the ceiling. Track your hands back. Exhale, plant your hands down. Lift your back knee up. Step your left foot back to meet your right high plank. Lower down, halfway or all the way. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Step your left foot through, back knee stays lifted. Inhale, chest comes up, crescent. Track those fingers back. Breath in and breath out. Plant your hands. Step your right foot forward to meet your left. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll it all the way up. Arms float up, gaze goes up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Close your eyes down. Take a few breaths here before we move on to our sequence for the night. Breath in 
and breath out. We're gonna move into a variation of chair, but for tonight, keep your feet hip distance and parallel planted right underneath your shoulders because we're gonna work on a goofy transition of chair that we don't often do. We're really gonna focus on finding that curve and opening up in our chest. So inhale, sweep your fingertips along the ground, keep your knees parallel right over your toes. Really arch your back, sticking your bum out, opening up across the chest, cactusing those arms, pulling those elbows down and together so your shoulder blades really pinch together along your back. Squeeze through your glutes, keep those knees parallel, one more breath in and opposite round your spine all the way down forward fold inhale half lift exhale plant your hands step back to your high plank or jump back to chaturanga move through your vinyasa we'll all come together in downward facing dog from downward dog take a breath in and a breath out Inhale, lift your right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose in high plank so your shoulders land right over your wrist, your knee is at your nose, and step or help your right foot in between your hands. Drop your back knee down, and inhale, your chest comes up into this low crescent. Inhale, look up at the ceiling, track your fingers back. and draw those fingers back up to center. If it feels okay on your back knee, lift up your back foot, reach back with your left hand, grabbing that left ankle, feeling that stretch along your left quad, pressing into your right heel, right fingertips still reaching up, breath in and out. One more breath in, drop your left foot back to the ground, left arm sweeps up, tuck your back toe, lift right up, into high crescent. Breath in and breath out. Inhale again, track those hands back. This time let your hands come together, meet at the nape of your neck, pressing back. So now you feel it a little bit in your shoulders. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, your hands come up, keep your palms together. Prayer twist over to the right, hooking your left elbow on that right knee, finding this twisted variation of crescent. Maybe you gaze up over your right shoulder at the ceiling, pressing through your palms, your thumbs just about at heart center. That's your goal, getting those thumbs to heart center. Breath in, breath out, lower your back knee again, Lift it again, this time reaching with your right hand back towards that left foot. Your left thumb stays at heart center, or your hand stays at heart center, gazing over your back leg. Breath in, breath out, release that back leg, tuck your back toe, hands come to heart. Reactivate that back leg, coming back to this twisted shape. Inhale, airplane your arms open. Sweep your right hand down towards the earth. Open all the way up, warrior two. Give your leg a little straighten if you need a little bit of a break there. Come to warrior two. Breath in and breath out. Here in warrior two, reach your fingertips to the front and back of the room like you're gonna grab a handle that's on either end of the room. As you exhale, Pull that handle in, elbows coming almost like they're gonna meet behind your back. And inhale, re-straighten. Twice more, exhale, pull that handle, elbows coming behind your back, and re-straighten. And exhale, pull, and re-straighten. Reversing your triangle, straighten your front leg, thank goodness. Left arm reaches back and down, right arm reaches up. Exhale, windmill your hands down over your right foot. Come up onto the ball of your left foot. Step back to your high plank. Move through your vinyasa or just press right back to downward facing dog. And we'll do the other side. Take a breath or two here just to settle in. Inhale your left leg up, three-legged dog. 
Exhale, draw your knee to your nose, shoulders over wrists in high plank. Step or help your left foot through into this low lunge. Here in this low lunge, draw back on your left hip crease a little bit to pull your hip back into that socket. Lower your right knee down to the ground this time. Inhale, your arms come up, low crescent. Trace those fingers back along the ceiling. Breath in and breath out. Fingertips come back up to the top of the ceiling. Tuck your toe and re-lengthen all the way up high crescent. Oh, my mistake, lower back down. Take your right hand, reach back, grab your right ankle. Find that stretch on your right thigh. Left arm stays up. Breath in, breath out. Release that back leg, tuck your back toe, right arm sweeps up. Now reactivate, come into that high crescent. Breath in, breath out. Hands meet, touch at the nape of your neck. Press back, finding the same opening but now including your shoulders. Inhale and exhale. Inhale your arms up and overhead, palms stay together. Prayer twist over to the left this time. Right elbow hooks on left knee. Breath in and breath out. Lower the back knee. Reach back with your left hand, grabbing onto that right foot. Hand can stay at heart center. Mine likes to rest right on my shoulder. Breath in, breath out. Release that back leg, tuck the back toe, press right back and up into that twisted crescent. Breath in, open the arms. Breath out, left hand sweeps down and around, all the way into warrior two. Woo. Straighten that front leg if you need a little bit of a break. And then come right back into warrior two. Grab those handles at the front and back of the room. Exhale, pull, elbows come behind you. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, pull and straighten and pull and straighten. Reverse your triangle, straighten your front leg. Right hand comes down, left arm goes up. Exhale, windmill those hands down around your left foot. Step back to your high plank. Lower down, halfway or all the way. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, breath out. Inhale, look to your hands. Make your way there, hop, step, tiptoe, float, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, roll up. Let your arms float up, gaze up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Close your eyes down. Take a quick opportunity to draw back to mind the intention that you thought about as we started class today. Breath in. And breath out, release your hands down to your sides. And we'll do it again on the other side. Do it again on both sides. Nice and a little bit more quickly this time, one breath to one motion. Feet are planted right underneath your hips. Inhale, deep squat, sweep your fingertips. Open those arms up, cactus them right away. Open across the chest, sticking your bum out, arching your back this time. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to your high plank, jump jack to chaturanga, lower down. Make your way all the way to your downward facing dog. Breath in and breath out. Inhale, your right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, step your right foot through. Lower your back knee down. Inhale your chest up and exhale. Inhale your fingers reach back a little further and exhale hands come back up. Lift your back knee reach back grab with your left arm. Breathe in 
breathe out. Breathe in. Your back leg drops, toe tucks. Inhale, press up, high crescent. Exhale, thumbs to the nape of the neck. Inhale, back. Exhale, come back up. Hands stay together. Come to heart center. Prayer twist over to the right. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Lower the back knee. Reach back with the right hand. Clasp that ankle. Breath in. And breath out. One more breath in. Release the back leg. Tuck the back toe. Come right back to prayer twists. Inhale, open those arms up. Your right hand sweeps down all the way up and around to warrior two. Just one squeeze here this time. Inhale and exhale, elbow squeeze. Inhale, reach. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, windmill your hands down around your front foot and make your way through down, all the way to downward facing dog. Stay here in downward dog for just a breath or two before we do the other side. Inhale, your left leg goes up. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your left foot through. Lower your back knee down. Inhale, chest comes up. Low crescent, track your fingers back. Bring your chest back up. Reach back with your right hand. Grab your right foot. Breath in. And out. Breath in. Out. Release your back foot. Tuck your back toe. Lift right up to high crescent. Inhale. Hands to the nape of your neck. Gaze back. Inhale. Exhale. Hands lift. Come right around to heart. Rare twist over to the left. Breath in. And breath out, your knee drops. Pick up the back leg, reach back with the left hand. Breath in. And out. Breath in. Breath out, drop the back toe down. Lift right up, twisted crescent. Arms open on an inhale. Exhale, left hand sweeps down. Windmill all the way open, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, elbows draw together. Inhale, open. Stay for an exhale. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, windmill, hands come down. Step back to high plank, lower down. Move through your vinyasa all the way to downward facing dog. We'll stay here for a good three breaths. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Let your exhale carry you all the way there. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, roll all the way up. Arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. We'll do that one more time through, just like that. As our bodies become more familiar with the sequence, you can bend a little deeper into those back bends and twist a little deeper into those twists. Let your arms come down along your sides. Make sure your feet are planted right where you like them. Inhale, sweep your fingers down. Immediately lift that chest, arch your back, stick your bum out, elbows press down. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, move through your vinyasa all the way to down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, step through. Back knee comes down. Inhale, chest up. Track along the ceiling, gaze back. Exhale, hands come back to center. Lift up, left foot, left hand, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out as you release your back leg. Inhale, press right up to crescent. Hands drop to the nape of your neck. Inhale, leans you back. 
exhale, lift back up, let your hands reach towards the ceiling, staying in prayer, prayer twist over to the right. Breath in, breath out, breath in, your back knee comes down, right hand grabs back foot, breath in, and out, breath in, release that back leg, tuck that back toe, straighten back up, inhale, airplane those arms, exhale as you sweep your right hand down, windmill all the way open to warrior two, inhale, reach, exhale, pull, inhale, reach, stay for an exhale, inhale, reverse triangle, exhale, windmill your hands down, move all the way through your vinyasa, come to down dog. From downward dog, breathe in and breathe out. Last side, inhale your left foot. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your left foot through. Drop your back knee. Inhale, arms up. Reach, track your fingers back. Fingers reach back up. Right leg lifts, grab with your right hand, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, set your right toes back down, inhale, press up high crescent, inhale, exhale, hands together, thumbs to the nape of the neck, inhale, reach back, breath in, breath out, lift back up, hands to the ceiling, twist over, crescent twist. Breathe in, breathe out, your back knee comes down. This time, reach back with your left hand. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Set your left foot down. Retuck that toe right back to prayer. Crescent. Inhale. Airplane those arms open. Left arm swings down all the way open. Warrior two. Breath in. Reach. Breath out. Pull. Breath in. Reach. Stay for an exhale. Inhale, straighten your front leg, reverse your triangle. Exhale, windmill your hands all the way down. Step back, move through your vinyasa, or just press back. We'll all meet together and down we're facing dog. From downward facing dog, take a breath in. And a breath out. Roll forward to your high plank. Last bit of work before we rest. Remember how I talked about strengthening those core muscles so that we can support our spine. We're gonna drop down to our forearms. My favorite isometric hold, we're holding our forearm plank for one minute. So hang out here with me. I checked my clock. Fire up your core, fire up your thighs. This uses so many muscles in your body. And this is the opportunity to draw that intention back to mind. You are halfway there. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop to your knees. Come flat on your back or into child's pose. If neither of those speak to you, you can choose any restful position. We'll stay here for a minute or so. Letting your breath settle. Letting your thoughts settle.
if you chose a restful position that was one-sided, if you have one ear on the ground or you're laying on one side, go ahead and switch to the other side. Or take this opportunity to fidget a little or we'll rest for a little bit longer. Start to wake your body up. Bring some awareness back to your breath. Wherever you're at, slowly make your way to a tabletop position. From tabletop, take a cat-cow. Moving through cow, tailbone reaches up, crown of head reaches up, shoulder blades reach down. And cat, round your spine. Tuck your chin, tuck your pelvis, press, press, press. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Now sit back. We're gonna move into hero, just for a little bit of a break. So the idea in hero is you sit back between your heels. If that's doesn't, not comfortable for you, then extend one leg out in front of you. If that's still not, uncom not comfortable, you can sit up on a block to provide a little bit of lift off of the ground. But either with both legs back or one leg forward, you're gonna start to reach back behind you, maybe coming onto your palms, if this is it, this feels good, or all the way back onto your forearms, or if you can lay all the way back, lay all the way back into reclined hero. If you have one leg out, I'll give you an opportunity to switch in just a few breaths. If you've got that one leg out, go ahead and lift yourself back up, switch legs, and lower yourself back down to your mat. Just another breath or two here. Gently start to press yourself back up to seated. Come all the way up onto your hands and knees. Roll your spine out a little bit, wiggle your hips from side to side. Tuck your toes, come to downward facing dog. We're gonna move through a triangle series to lengthen that side body and strengthen that side body, again, as a support and stabilizer for our spine. So inhale, lift your right leg up, three-legged dog, press through the heel, flex both feet, your left heel's reaching towards the ground, your right heel is reaching exactly opposite direction of your hands. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose, step your right foot through. This time we'll dial our back heel down, and come all the way up, warrior one. Drawing back on your left hip crease, forward on your right hip crease. Letting your shoulders relax. Your floating ribs are tucked in and engaged. Breath in and breath out. Open up, warrior two. I always do a little wiggle adjustment with my feet to make sure my front heel is in line with my back arch. Sometimes revisiting these basics, these basic poses for a few breaths, nothing fancy, can help us get realigned. 
Inhale, straighten your front leg. We're moving into triangle. Send your hips back, 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 back. Reach your right arm forward as far as you can. When you can't reach any farther, drop your right hand down to your shin or calf or ankle or maybe floor. Reaching up to your triangle pose. Your hips are stayed tucked under. Ideally, your left hand is stacked over your shoulder, stacked over your right shoulder, stacked over your right hand in one long line. But you're lifting through your side body. You're not hinged over and jumping. You're lifting through your side body, flattening your chest. Lift your front kneecap, engage your thigh. Breath in and breath out. Inhale, lift your left fingertips just a little bit. Rebend your right knee coming into warrior two one last time. Breath in, breath out. Windmill your hands down around your right foot. Come up high on the ball of your back foot. Press into your right foot and bring your knee into your chest, coming to standing, maybe not setting that left knee down at all. With that left knee lifted, you can drop both arms down. Set your left arm out like you're carrying a tray. We're moving into dancer. Our first, we're going to make this a gentle variation of a back bend today. So set the left foot in that hand so that your thumbs are pointed up at the ceiling. Reach your right arm up to the sky and kick, 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 kick your left foot into your left hand. When you can't kick any further at all, you can start to drop your chest to find a little more height. But the real goal is to continue to kick your foot into your hand. Breath in and breath out. One more breath in, breath out. Gently, slowly release it down. Don't just collapse into a puddle. Left foot steps down to meet the right. Shake it out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Move through your vinyasa or just press right back to downward facing dog so we can do the other side. Once you arrive in downward dog, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. One more in. And out. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Flexing through your heel. Dropping your right heel down to the earth. Pressing the earth away with your hands. Exhale, your knee comes to your nose. Step or help your left foot through. Dial your back heel down. Inhale, chest comes up, warrior one. Draw back on your left hip crease. Squeeze your right glute. Breath in. Breath out, warrior two. Left heel right to the middle of your right crease. Your right arch. Breath in. And breath out. Straighten your front leg. Reach your left hand forward while your hips tip back. When you can't reach any further forward, your two side bodies are still engaged. You drop your left hand down, your right hand goes up into triangle. Breath in. And breath out. Inhale, your fingertips lift up. Rebend your left leg right back into warrior two. Breath in, breath out. Windmill your hands down around your left foot. Come up high on the ball of your right foot. Press into your left heel. Draw your right knee into your chest. Lift it all the way up to standing. Both arms can come down. Your right hand reaches out like you're carrying a tray. Set your foot into that right hand. Inhale your left arm up, press through all four corners of your feet, and kick your right foot into your right hand. And before you tilt forward, make sure you're kicking as far as you can into that right hand. Don't hold your breath, continue to breathe. 
breath in and breath out. Release that foot. Step your right foot next to your left. Shake it out, wiggle it out. Come all the way back down onto your mat. We're gonna move through one last series of core strengtheners and shoulder openers before we come into our backbend series. So moving into dolphin. This is one of my favorites. Not everybody agrees with me. Plant your forehands, forearms on the earth with your elbows just underneath your shoulders. So really, once your forearms are planted on the ground, you should be able to reach and grab your fingertips around your triceps. Not just graze, but really grab those fingertips around your triceps. That's about how far apart they should be. They're further than that, you're not gonna have enough force. You're not gonna be able to use, but use your shoulders because they're gonna be hanging on to that angle instead. So you can really press down from your shoulders to the elbow, making sure they're only that far apart. From there, you can draw your arms parallel to one another in a number 11, or your hands can come together in a fist, making a triangle. That's entirely up to you. As is true of a lot of things in life, everything you read, people have a different opinion about which forearm grasp is better in dolphin. So you choose arms parallel, arms together in a triangle. Once they're all set up nice and strong, tuck your toes, lift your hips up, walk your feet as close to your face as you can get them, press your shoulders back between your biceps. This first time, we're just gonna hold this. Press through your forearms, press your ears back between your biceps. This is core strengthening and opening up across the chest and opening your shoulders. And it's an inversion as well. You get all the benefits of an inversion. Breath in and out. Slow your breath down. Breath in, breath out. Last breath in, and your knees come all the way down to the earth. Take a brief pause in a narrow knee child's pose. And we'll do that dolphin and add on a little bit. So come back to your forearms, find that same elbow position that grasp, duck your toes, send your hips high, walk your feet as close to your face as you can comfortably get them. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, bring your chin to your thumbs. And as you breathe in, ears back, back to your biceps. Chin to thumbs, ears to biceps. Chin to thumb, ears to biceps. Chin to thumb. Ears to biceps, chin to thumb. Ears to biceps, two more, chin to thumb. Ears to biceps, last one, chin to thumb. Ears to biceps and knees come down. Arms can come back into this narrowed knee child's pose. Take a breath in and a breath out. Come back forward to your dolphin. Forearms on the ground. Plant those elbows at the right distance, right underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes, send your hips high. Walk your feet as close to your face as you can get them. Tuck your elbows in between your biceps, your ears in between your biceps. Now lower your knees, but not quite touch the earth. And exhale. Lower down as you exhale. Inhale, press your ears to your biceps. Lower down, knees almost touch. Inhale, press high. Lower down, knees almost touch. Inhale, press high. Lower down, knees almost touch. Inhale, press up high. Two more, lower down, knees almost touch. Press high, lower down, press up. And this time, let your knees come all the way down to the earth. Let your hands reach back behind you into this narrow knee child's pose. Send your arms out in front of you. Come all the way down onto your belly. And we'll move through our series of back bends. We'll start with the lowest to the ground and the gentlest, and we'll continue to press progress through a few choices. If at some point you get to the point where you're like, 
not interested in this, I'm not doing this anymore. You absolutely don't have to. So we'll start in Sphinx. We were here once before already at the beginning of class. So arms parallel this time, elbows right underneath shoulders. Press your shoelaces into the ground. Flex your quads, your knees lift up off the ground. Pull your arms back, lift and open your chest. Breath in and breath out. Breath in, breath out. One more breath in and exhale, lower everything all the way down to the ground. With your forehead on the ground, we'll move into locust. So clasp your hands, hands behind your back and stretch that singular fist down towards your feet. This first round, we're going to keep our feet together. So zip up your legs, keep your feet together. Take a breath in to prepare and a breath out. Inhale, chest lifts, feet lift, zip them together. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hold it. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hold it. One more time, inhale, lift. And exhale, release, come all the way back down. Send your feet up towards the sky, maybe windshield wiper your hands from the side, your legs from side to side. Lower your feet back down. We're gonna do that again, but this time, if you wanna separate your feet, try that on. It will likely deepen your back bend, make things a little easier. Clasp your hands behind your back, send that single fist down, back, back, back towards your feet. Inhale to prepare, and exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, relax. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hold it. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower everything all the way down to the ground. Again, hands can release feet to the ceiling. Windshield wiper your legs side to side. Set your feet back down on the ground, tuck your toes. Press yourself up to kneeling. We'll move into camel before we come down onto our backs. So come up to kneeling high. I do camel a fair amount in my classes. I'm a big fan. If you haven't done camel before, tuck your toes. Place your hands in your lower back pockets where you would have pockets in the back of your jeans. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, your hips stay over your knees. So press your hips forward, start to look back. You can release your neck, and if it feels, you can stay just like this. If it feels okay, you can reach back for your heels. If reaching back for your heels feels okay, release your neck. The challenge I wanna to provide today is to deepen your back bend not by forcing your hips forward and tweaking your back, but by using your gaze. Can you just track your eyeballs along the ceiling, maybe towards the back of the room? Can you find the baseboard with your eyeballs, pressing your hips forward? Breath in, draw your hands back to your back pocket. Use that support to lift you up. Untuck your toes if they're tucked, come into Child's pose to bend your spine the opposite direction, just restfully. We'll do camel one more time. Come back up to kneeling. Now you can leave those toes tucked like we did before, or you can keep them untucked to take you a little bit deeper. But again, my challenge today isn't to force yourself deeper into a back bend, thinking about your back and your body and hips and push, but to just use your eyes. Track those eyes up along the ceiling, towards the back of the room. Can you glimpse the floor behind you? So start with your hands at your back pockets. Take a breath in. And exhale, press your hips forward. Start to reach back for your heels. Keeping your hips over your knees. Keeping your knees parallel. Look back. Use your gaze to maybe take you a tiny bit further. Breath in, breath out. Draw your hands to your back pockets. Gently press yourself up. Hips go back. Move into a child's pose. From here, come back onto your bum. Send your feet out in front of you and come all the way down onto your back. We'll move into bridge and then wheel. Moving through all of our back bends, giving them all a try today. Draw your feet really close to your bum, so much so that you might even be able to brush your heels 
with your fingers. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, press through your feet, lift your hips all the way up so you've got a nice line of energy from your knees all the way down to the base of your head, nice and flat on the ground. You can draw your hands together under your back and straighten your arms out, pressing your shoulder blades under, pressing your hips to the sky. Just like we did when we were in locust, you inhale, press, and exhale, hold it. Inhale, press, exhale, hold it. Inhale, press exhale release your hands gently roll your spine all the way down maybe you windshield wipe your knees from side to side and we'll do that one more time draw your feet right next to your bum fingertips graze your heels take a breath in to prepare and a breath out. Inhale, press your hips high. Now keep your knees both pointing straight ahead. If your knees start to cave out or if your toes are pointed out, lower down a little bit so you can get control of those knees, get control of those toys, toes, everything pointing straight ahead. Clasp those hands underneath your body, press into your backs of your arms, lift as you breathe in, hold it as you breathe out. Lift as you breathe in, Hold it as you breathe out one more time. Lift and release your hands lower down one vertebrae at a time. Let your knees swing from side to side, windshield wiper. And our last back bend of the day, full wheel. If full wheel is not for you, you can do a bridge again, or if you'd like to come back onto your knees and try camel again. Try that on. If wheel is okay and it's something in your practice, plant your hands next to your ears, fingertips pointing back down to your toes. I had my hand right on my ponytail. That would not have worked to try and lift with my hand smashing my ponytail into the earth. Press your elbows up at the sky. Take a breath in to prepare and a breath out. And inhale, press and lift. Your goal here is to get those shoulders up and over your wrists, which all just depends on how open your chest is. Keep those knees, again, pointing forward towards the front of the room, not pointing out, not turned out, toes not turned out. Engaging your thighs. Breath in and breath out. One more breath in. Come on to your tippy toes. Gently lower down to the back of your head. And windshield wiper those knees from side to side to release that. Draw your knees into your chest. Again, maybe wiggle those hips out, release that again. Without thinking too hard about it, come up to seat. We're going to move into downward facing dog just to finish our last few stretches before Shavasana. Tuck your toes, come to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. And exhale, draw your right knee behind your right wrist. Your front shin is set up somewhere between parallel to the front of your mat and a 45 degree angle. Release your back leg, release your back toe. Get yourself centered over the middle of your body. If you're leaning over off to the right, use a block or a blanket or something to tuck underneath that right hip. Inhale to proud pigeon, fingertips on the ground. And exhale, lower down, either to forearms or hands, or all the way down to your forehead. We didn't get into the hips a lot today. So we're gonna take an opportunity to rest in pigeon for a few minutes to release some of that tension and find some hip opening.
You can stay here in sleeping pigeon just like this. Or if you feel like after our back bending today, you have a little more space, you can lift yourself up onto your fingertips. You can bring your back foot in, tuck that back toe, and you can take that left foot underneath your left elbow and find mermaid. Or if you have the opening in the shoulders, this is a tight one for me, flip your grip around and see if you can reach that toe with one or both hands. Or if you're up and lifted, gently release that toe back down. Everyone come to your fingertips in pigeon. Take your left leg, roll over to the right side, swing your left leg all the way around, tuck your left leg on the outside of your right. Inhale your arms up, grow nice and tall. Exhale, twist over to your left. Hook your left elbow on your right knee. Gaze over at your back shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Inhale your arms back up, twist back to center. Counter twist, twisting over to the right, just gently, maybe lean a little bit to the right, planting those fingertips on the ground. Really set your hands on the ground, come up to stand on your left foot, swing all the way around to this wide-legged forward fold right in the center of your mat. Let your head hang heavy here. And there's no good way to do it. So just flip around, back to downward facing dog. We'll do the other side. From downward to facing dog, lift your left leg up. Draw your left knee behind your left wrist. Extend that right leg way behind you. Get centered over your body, up onto your fingertips. And lower your chest all the way down to the earth. Forearms, hands, forehead, whatever feels best. So I've had to make some adjustments to my teaching as we get used to doing this virtually. That weird transition that just happened there is kind of an example. I normally would have just redone this side facing the back of the mat. But it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to have you facing the back of the mat where I can't walk to the back of the mat to see what the back of the mat because then you're not facing me and you can't see me and it just seems odd. So forgive the weird transition, but that's why we did it that way. You can stay down like this or come up onto your fingertips. Raise that back leg up. Maybe you tuck it in the crook of your elbow into mermaid. Maybe your right hand grabs your right toe and you have the space to flip your grip around and reach for that back toe. If you're lifted up, gently release that back leg. Everybody come up to lifted in pigeon fingers, plant chest lifts. Roll over to the left side, swing your right leg all the way around. Hook your right leg on the outside of your left. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist over to your right. Hook your left elbow on your right knee, gaze over your back shoulder. Inhale, your arms back up to center. Counter twist, twist over to the left. Fingertips on the ground. Really lean into those fingertips. Bend those elbows. Plant your hands. Step onto that left foot. Swing your legs all the way up. Stand up. Gentle forward fold. Maybe you stretch your hips out a little bit. Come all the way back down to seated. Legs out in front of you. Come all the way down. Draw your knees into your chest. One last time. 
Give yourself whatever kind of hug it is that you need, a really firm hug, a really gentle hug. We'll take three more breaths in here together. And release your legs. Set up for Shavasana. Let your legs come to the outside edges of your mat. Your arms alongside your body, your palms face up. Let your feet fall away from one another. Moving into your Shavasana, I'll draw your attention back when it's time to finish. Gently start to wake up your body. Draw some attention back to your breath, back to your fingers and toes. And roll over onto your favorite side in the fetal position. Resting your head on your bicep and drawing your knees into your chest, feeling supported and held. And then invite you one more time to revisit the intention that you set for yourself at the beginning of class. And how did that go? And if you feel uplifted by that intention, then hang on to it. And if it didn't serve you today, then let it go. Gently press yourself up to a seated position, keeping your eyes closed or your gaze soft. And once you're in seated, draw your hands to heart center, pressing your thumbs into your heart. We'll take one more collective inhale and exhale. The light in me honors and sees and appreciates the light in each one of you. Namaste. Namaste.